Primer. This video will abruptly cut off at the end because I decided to make it into two parts. If you have not already, go watch my other video on vision boards. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if anything on here has helped you or could help someone else. Thank you. Hey y'all, so today we gonna be talking about First of all, I'm so rude. I never introduce myself. It's such a bad habit. My name is Ariana. Nice to meet y'all if this is your first time here. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about vision boards. This is vision board 101 and I am your instructor on the vision board 101 class. It's Martha. What? I don't know why I've been doing that all day, but I've been doing that all day. Um, I don't know. My spirit is feeling very UK is what I'm going for. Could come off Australian. I don't know. Um, okay, so a vision board is a visual representation of, of the goals you are trying to accomplish. So I'll say that to say I was watching hold on I was watching married at first sight and they were going inside the dude's house and the dude was like yeah she's like what's this on the board and he was like it's a vision board there was no pictures could somebody please make it make sense I was like how is that a vision board with no pictures there's no vision like you might as well that's a list of goals anyways don't get me started so the first very important thing you need to know is that you need to be specific so you need to be specific this is my vision board and on my vision board is um a lot of stuff actually but i'm so sorry about the dogs y'all i don't they don't have no home training and these hoes ain't got no manners it, i'm sorry but like this for example i want my credit score to go up so i decided to put my name welcome back ariana because that's how specific you need to be the importance of being specific is because it helps you visualize everything a bit easier it's so much easier for me to look at this and really believe that this is my credit score when it has my name on it as opposed to me taking it out i mean printing it out and it has like welcome back barbara i'm gonna be looking at my board like my name ain't barbara my name chris you feel me yeah 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 that ain't my name though i know and then it distracts you from what you're trying to get so that's why it's so important to be specific when you do your vision boards also i put here bank of america because that's my actual bank like i actually have bank of america i wouldn't put chase i wouldn't put Citibank, um wells fargo whatever whatever because i actually have bank of america so it's easier for me to look at this and be like this can really be my account because it's bank of america and not any any other bank um i put my my i put my uh head on ashanti's body and i did her body because i feel like haters go say i'm lying haters go say it's photoshop no nah, but um i put my head on her body because i actually feel like she she her body and my body is similar she's thicker than me and obviously more uh in shape than i am at this present time I'm, i will be though and but i feel like for the most part we have like the same kind of like she has hips and i have hips so i wasn't gonna put her on i mean i wasn't gonna put my face on somebody's body who 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 didn't have a body like mine you know it just doesn't make sense so um try to make your vision boards as specific as you can get it the more specific the better i'm telling y'all uh, the second thing is you need to include pictures more than words. Okay, so this goes back to what I was saying about um, earlier when I seen the guy on Married at First Sight and he had a list of things. This goes back to that. He had all words, no pictures. Like, it's cool to have words. Like, I have plenty of words on my vision board. I really do. But there's pictures because you need to be able to see the point is for you to be able to see yourself already having it so you don't want just a bunch of words that's that's scripting or you might as well read a book or something like that that's just writing down your goals it's important to see the, to see what you need to see um a lot of people are visual learners too so 
it's not about learning obviously but it's about seeing it um number three make sure that y'all put y'all vision boards in front of y'all because when you have your vision board like my vision board is always like but i put it by my bed so when i wake up in the morning i turn over and i see it or if i'm already facing that way i see it it's a reminder of like what you what you need to be doing like it's like a reminder of it's a reminder that you need to be on your P's and Q's in order to accomplish your goals. It also helps like, you know, if you're having a bad day or something like that, it helps to be able to revert to your board and like, okay, well, I have been taking steps to do this on the board. Like it really, it really, really does help keep you on track and it helps it stay in the back of your mind that you need to be working on accomplishing your goals because it's always in your face. Those are like the three most important things. 